Welcome to Sailing with the Jameses. I'm Kate. And this is Sam. And this is our daughter, Charlie. A couple of months ago, we sold our house and all of our belongings and bought Endless Summer, a 55-foot Bruce Roberts yacht. We are now living on board full-time while we sail around the world. Follow our journey by pressing subscribe. Previously on Sailing with the Jameses, we headed north to Bundaberg from Fraser Island an endless summer was hauled out of the water for a pre-purchase survey. Once the survey was done, Endless Summer was relaunched and put on a berth, and she's officially under contract for sale. We are catching the bus into Bundaberg City this morning because we are purchasing a catamaran, and tomorrow morning the survey is being done. Have fun, hon. So the bus I caught was also a school route. So this morning there was primary kids on the bus who were extremely well behaved and I was very impressed with them. After a stop at the primary school, the bus driver helped me navigate which stopped to get off at. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are on our way to Kumra in the Gold Coast. It's about a five hour drive and 435 kilometers in total from Bundaberg. To break up the drive, we stop at a playscape to let Charlie out and to run about and get some energy off. After the break, we head back on the road to Kumra. On our way to the Gold Coast, We've got the survey 8 a.m. tomorrow. It's currently 6.25 in the evening. And we aim to go through Brisbane coast. Uh, go over the Golden Gate Bridge after the peak two hours worth of traffic. Um, our uh, Google Maps said it was a five and a half hour drive, which it was a fair bit longer. We thought we'd have time to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we don't. And um, yeah. We're gonna miss the traffic easy anyway. We're uh, still 40 minutes away from the bridge and it's 6.26 at night, so it's, I think we're gonna be pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing. We've stopped, thought it was like 15 minutes, got back in the car, it's been an hour later. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go and have a play, and yeah. Let Charlie have a bit of a run around and everything. Yeah, but we're super excited for tomorrow. Certainly are. So we'll see how it goes. We'll let you know. We have just checked in for the night. These two have found the TV. <laughs> Haven't watched TV in ages. <laughs> and we'll set Charlie's porta cut up. And early morning tomorrow. We are up early the next day because the survey starts at 7:30 a.m. at the boat works on the catamaran. Hey guys, so we just got back from the survey today. Um, so it didn't go exactly to plan or to 
floor plan, so we have decided not to move forward with the, the catamaran. So we're still moving forward with a catamaran, just not that catamaran. So what we've done is we're at my sister's in Uran at the moment because, well, for those of you that know me, Sam is a man who always has a plan and I don't like my plans getting changed. So <laughs> we're just going to take a couple of days out to um, reassess and um, then we'll continue our search. Um, so at this stage, we'll still be looking for a, a performance catamaran to move on to. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that catamaran that we looked at today wasn't the one for us. But while we're here, it's um, we're quite lucky. It is, yeah, yeah. Kate will show you this. So while we're at our, our family's house, they've got a huge playscape and everything, which is great for traveling. <laughs> so they've got a playscape here. So Charlie's been having a lot of fun in the sand pit, which we can find at every single beach we go to, but... <laughs> it would seem that the sand at the bottom it's a, of this awesome playscape is her favourite thing to play with, uh, which is good because we can give her a lifetime of sand, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, so at, at this stage, guys, that, that's our plan. We're going to just sort of sit back, take a couple of days, um, so sorry guys about the short video this week. Our plan was to show you the catamaran that we were purchasing, but unfortunately it's not working out. Um, so this week is going to be a bit shorter of a video, and we'll fill you guys in next week with a bit longer video as normal. Yeah, we appreciate your understanding that the master plan for our lives is just to take these couple of days just to sort of reassess and yeah. We had a, a clear plan for the boat we were going to buy and the work we were going to do to it and <laughs> a complete timeline. <laughs> and as that's completely out of, out of the window, we don't just want to run straight away yeah. and, and start searching straight away for another one. We just want to see where we're going, what our timeline's going to be for when we can leave to go overseas now if things do get waylaid and uh, how much work or time we need before, before we do anything. So, yeah. We had a plan and the plan didn't work out. They always say the worst thing you can have on a cruising yacht is a calendar. And I think this is lesson number one for us. <laughs> yeah. is a, Yes, a calendar might be a bad idea. Yeah. We'll go with the flow. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow our adventures. We'll see you guys next week.